TV and welcome to the Scandal After Show. Oh my God, we have so much to talk about and we're going to dive in deep, deep into it. Is Olivia qualified to actually hmm, fix this kind of problem? No. I don't know. No. Oh, Kat says no. But let's start. <laughs> I'm your host, Jocelyn Polite, and I am joined by my fabulous co-host. Over here to my left is Kat Inslee. Hi, to guys. my right is Jillian Fleischman. Hi. And next to Jillian is Christina Myers. Hello. Now, this episode was deep and we all saw it coming. I know I had to take a pause and I'll be taking many of them because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, we have a lot to talk about. This episode, everyone anticipated. I saw it on Twitter. Everyone thought, you know, it was gonna dip into the whole Ferguson issue and with the whole Department of Justice report coming out, we knew that this was gonna be pretty deep and it did go in and we spent the entire episode on it. So those of you that wanted OPA fixing back, yep. it's back. Right? Trying. It's well, trying, trying to be back. It's trying to be back. Kind of. Kind of. They didn't really fix it, but well, it's being fixed. back. She did fix it. She fixed it. She demanded well, the tape. I mean, that's she did fair. what she needed to do. Yeah. That's fair. But we thought um, we struggling. Yeah. To, keep it, to kind of keep it together. Okay, I so this was, this, was, this was, this was, what, what do you call it? Life imitating art? Art life imitating, imitating life. art, exactly. Right. And so uh, we got into an issue that is current today in yep. our society, which is young black men being shot dead in the street by cops, justified or not. It's mm -hmm. happening, okay? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk about it. And you know what? We're going to go in and we're going to talk about it. And all of us are just going to go in deep with it. So this affected me. It affected Kat really deeply. She yep. cried a lot during this episode. I did. But it affected me. That lawn chair over his body, I got to start with that. That was deep as I don't know what. I, I, can't. Mean, I can't. Like, imagine. I can't. Like, I can't even start. The thing is, it's like, okay, well, as, as a, you know, I can't, you know, um, I can't talk about the effect that it has on, you know, the Ferguson community or this type of community because I am a white woman. But I saw it as a father who was just, just devastated. Over the death of his son, which no matter the race, no matter the religion, no matter anything, that is a horrific thing to have a parent who has to watch their child die. I'm one of those people, like, I grew up with the most amazing mother in the entire world and no father, which is great because my mother is incredible. But I watched that. I watched that man and all he wanted was justice for his son. And like he put his lawn chair over his body. And I like I can't even like I can't I can't please go yeah. to Christina like I, make, the, <laughs> make the camera go I, I can't. I really loved seeing this episode actually with I, Shonda Rhimes, Shonda Rhimes' team, um, really using this platform to address something real that we're all connected to. I mean, it was mm. so much emotional impact for all of us. I think. Yeah. I mean, it was it yeah. was. Yeah. It's relevant, right. you know what I mean? And, yes, and it, was, it, was it, was, it was definitely emotional. I will say that I personally, the first half of the episode, I was not very connected because I didn't understand how it related to the story of Scandal. Mm. Like something we talked about was how much of it is just to create ratings or how much of it is just to create buzz about a topic, but does it tie in to the show that we're actually tuning in to watch? So, I mean, I like appreciate that it was emotional, it was, you know, very well written and very timely. Um, I was glad for the second half of the episode, personally, right. just to see that both sides were kind of represented, and maybe a, dis a well-rounded discussion would result more than just the beginning. I yeah, know. I of think course. all of us had extremely different reactions. I know yeah. my reaction, which I'm going to go to into, is did I feel like Olivia was qualified to handle the problem? And the reason why I say that is because honestly, as a black woman, and you know, I rub my hand. As a black woman, you rub your no, but I've had to, I've had to earn my black card too in a lot of ways because I did speak differently than everyone else that I went to school with, and yep. I had a different upbringing than everyone else that I went to school with. You know, I rode horses and did all the stuff that was considered white. <laughs> and so, horses. like Olivia, yeah. no, I'm serious. So no, she, she did. She saw her She's riding a horse. horses. She's I got a horse made fun girl. of by my black friends recently <laughs> she for riding horses. We're gonna be like, best friends next week, and they're so, like, "Yeah, you rode you know, your horses." I had to, you know, I had to almost earn my own street cred within my own community with my own people. So I get it on some levels, but I was sitting there even myself judging her saying like is Olivia Can she fix this problem? Is this is she something black that she's able to? to fix this problem? Yeah, well, you know? but I think what I okay what I really love too is um Shonda Rhimes black woman has all these amazing shows and incredible mm -hmm. success in this in this industry Taking the time to tell a story that you know, there's there's a through line in it You know, it was like finally she's expressing something that's so relevant to her 
her people, mm -hmm. can I say? No, <laughs> you know? say, right. Um, but, I'm you like, know, it's, Justin, go, well, go. yeah, but, you know, go, yeah, girl, people go. and really right. speaking about an important message in our society that isn't being addressed enough head on. Yeah. And she was able to do it head on. She was able to do it poetically, um, tell a full story. And then, I mean, this it, it felt like an homage to, to the issue. I mean, and, and this beautiful song with Nina Simone at the end. I mean, mm. it was, I believe it was Nina Simone. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, you know, I, it was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful in this like higher art way. I mean, yeah. taking this opportunity to and do that. Interesting and interesting that I thought about like while we were watching this, was that like, I guess Olivia's, you know, blackness was, mm -hmm. was yeah. kind of being talked about. It was questioned. Yeah, it, you know, was yeah, it was. When I watch Scandal now, I never approach it like a white president, his mistress is like a black woman. Yeah. So I thought it was very interesting. But that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah you I know. You, but, you, but, <laughs> but you don't see, approach it as a Sally Hemings thing. I somebody who's a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought it was very interesting that someone who's a neighborhood activist or someone who, mm -hmm. you know, is standing up for something sees her as not part of something. Right. What, you know what I mean? Like this, this differing perspective of we watch her as a character. We don't watch her as, or I don't watch her as a black character. And, and that was really being questioned Well, I think tonight. the thing you, that's funny that you brought that up because you said Sally Hemings. That's true. And she's made that reference on the she show has. many times. She has. She's made it many times. I time. also have to say that just, you know, when you deal with a situation, because I've had this conversation and, and I'm sitting on the couch with like three white women. And I'll be honest with you, like we had a conversation during this, during this show. We did. And, it, and Kat and I have had many conversations regarding that. And, you know, <laughs> we were in the car when Ferguson happened. And, um... The verdict, rather. Weren't we in the car when the verdict happened? <laughs> we were. Okay. Oh, my God, so, we were. We yes. were on the street when the verdict in Ferguson happened. Right. And we were watching it and we had a on conversation CNN on my phone. And right. And God, I mean, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. But, I mean, Ooh, what sorry. I'm saying is that you, you want to look to the facts of a situation. I think, like Olivia did in the very beginning of this, she was looking right. at, like, what are the facts? You know, I think she was hired by the other side. It's like, what, you know, wow, okay, what happened? What, what Did he have a knife? Did What was the situation? But then there's also a side of you that really pulls on the fact that you know that there's been unjust and unfair treatment within a neighborhood. Yep. And she knows, even though that's not a neighborhood that she lives in, she, you're aware as a black person that that stuff is taking place. Yep, right. And so I think when she crossed that line and she stood on the other side and started to chant, it was like, almost like what her father had been telling her seasons Ugh. back. That like, Ugh. you know, you know who you <laughs> are and who I raised you to be. Well, I also think like as, I mean, as a, you know, as a, <laughs> I don't know how else to say this without being <laughs> offended, as a white person in, in, in this day and age, like we were watching what happened with Ferguson. We were watching what was happening live. And, you know, the coroner came out and said like, he was, he did not have hands up. He had, you know, there was shooting with this, that, and the other. Like, it was all this political stuff. And yet, I was still watching this going, and they're trying to bomb the police station. And they're trying to bomb, you know, this, that, and the other. And as, you know, a, a white person, I'm going, why are you doing this? <laughs> You're making us look horrific, but in the same, you know, justification. America doesn't know the, you know, the details of everything that goes behind all these things. Right. We don't know. We're not told. They're told like, oh, there's a, you know, a black kid who robbed a store and then he got shot. No, there's way more, way more going underneath that story. And America doesn't really get to, to, you know, experience that. And that's, I, think I feel we like saw that a really little bit terrible. tonight. How like you know everyone swings one way, and then evidence yeah. comes, and they're watching mm, the video, right. and then you think that's going to go one way, and then it turns out to be another. I will say, tying this back to what we've seen like last week. Yeah. I remember, or two weeks ago. Sorry. I, feel like <laughs> I will say that to me, I remember talking about the fact that you know Olivia came back and she felt like she kind of woke up. Yeah. Like she had nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to, you know go towards any sort of, of her normal defenses. I will say that perhaps that moment in this episode was indicative of that, where like, she doesn't right. have to, you know, Boom. she doesn't have to look any certain way. She doesn't nope. have to act in a certain way. She knows she's his mistress. She's not happy that she, you know, is kind mm -hmm. of tied to the president and he went to war for her. So, I mean, I, that spoke to me, yeah. like while we were watching. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> Let, let's jump to a lighter note. Christina, you're well, like, yes, ah, it is. I'm going to give a little. I'm going to give a little. I'm going to give a little break on that, and then we're going to we're going to jump into Melly and what's going on with her and Fitz, and then we're going to jump back into what happened because there was an ending that was a bit different, and there, you know, some things changed with that whole knife situation. 
But first, let's just, you know, lighten the mood a little bit and go into Melly wanting to be vice president. <laughs> Melly wants to be president. Okay. Well, she wants to be president, but she wants Fitz to, now that Andrew have, is like in that the was, hospital. I have an actual question. And okay. again, this is, I mean, I, I did not pay question a lot cat. of attention in college. Sorry, mom. Like, I went to my government classes, but I didn't really listen because <laughs> they were at 8 a.m. And no, I was still hungover. Sorry about it. But couldn't Fitz just nominate Millie for the VP? Like, again, you're all going to tell me that I'm the dumbest person in the world. However, couldn't he just be like, Millie should be my VP? Right. Well, she Nobody is there else actually legislation like, saying they can't happen? do that? She like, doesn't want to be vice president. She wants to be the person well, standing right, but, there with all the recognition. But here's the thing, like, you get, you get like, VP again, could like, be Al Gore is not a good, you know, no, but, it's a place but to... you know, no, I like, get it. He's, I just, he's like, Ugh. I think that she really wants recognition with outfits. Like she wants to be able to stand there. But and she have needs that. him. Yeah, she, oh, she needs totally Fitz. Yeah. But she absolutely as, does. I actually really appreciate it. I don't know if you guys like the intensity of the first half of this episode. I was actually so glad to have Melly, and I'm I'm like a natural person who does not like Fitz, but that he was <laughs> acting like his normal idiot, where he was putting a woman before the actual country. I was really grateful for that tonight to kind of break up everything that was going mm -hmm. on. But um. I mean, he did it again, right? Yeah. He, right. he said, oh, I don't care. We should put someone who's great for the country. No, because Melly. Like, Melly. And then, obviously, she gets cast aside in the end, but still. Well, he, like, but Jillian her. is no, the she didn't most, get cast like, aside in the end. <laughs> they are, society girl. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, it, this was an interesting moment. I mean, it was dealing with those issues of, I mean, I thought it was an interesting comparison as well of, like, these gender issues as well of, right. like, yeah. this woman trying to really step up. And I believe that it has been stated in the show that Melly is um, a qualified candidate as far yeah. as having a law degree, having, you know, like, all these things that make her um, intelligent and make her a valid, you know, whatever, a valid, a valid candidate. Um, and, and so... Except she's neurotic. Right. Well, sure, we know the inside, but is she great at, <laughs> at press releases? But what does America and know? Exactly. Like, yeah. what does America really know? Right. What America knows, she carries the face of the country, which right. she could do, right? So it's who's to say she couldn't be. So it was a really interesting moment to see yeah. the husband support her. And I thought, how the hell is he going to get out of this? It's true. This other woman is better. And then, and then you do find out, okay, terrible <laughs> offense. Like, the, right. you know. Well, I think he was going after. It worked the, out well. He was going after the, like, you know. Sarah Palin type female vote when he went for, you know, the American Indian, you know, because who's not going to vote for the American Indian? Ooh. I mean, you know, the, the Native American, but I mean, he went for that, you know, with that particular, you know, uh, character that we saw, but then also, yeah. you know, then they brought back this woman that, First of all, Olivia did an entire makeover on her. What happened yep. to that? She's good. Yeah, but, um, where did her like short, cute haircut come in? I don't in know, but she actually came and... with some some good stuff because she's heading the whole thing on vaccination and, and and everything like that, which also is an issue that's taking place. You know, yeah. vaccines. And, Can we and take like two seconds to be like, if you don't vaccinate your kids, you're dumb. Sorry. Anyway. What I what I no, will what? say, I'm I'm saying is that, that. I'm I don't saying know. That. Dumb, dumb is polarizing. I, I don't want to say dumb, okay. but I, I, but yeah. I mean, look, we're living longer today because of vaccinations. I really Amen. appreciated though that. I mean, as much as she kind of like stuck her foot in her mouth towards the end of the thing, she did kind of come off very excited and genuine, and someone who had no yeah. kind of ulterior motive in, in yeah. the situation. And I. I actually like that Fitz was working with Melly. I just don't. Um, I liked it too. Foresee it, nice it being that long. So who is going to be the vice? Who's going to be vice president? Well, Do you think woman. it will be this yeah. woman? Well, you I really think it's going to be her. But this, they're going to bring goofy. back what's her butt. Oh, no, we no, might. But no, she doesn't seem interested. I think Sally's coming back. Thank you. I saw. Oh, I what's her butt? She's going to back out. Right. She's going to bring back. She's already backing out. So maybe she says yes at first, but then kind of, kind of. But guys, but also she was a refreshing new voice. Yes, she was. And there was honesty in it, and there was real policy that she was discussing. Thing, right yeah. on the on the, on the ground level, it was like let's work with the problems that are happening in America rather than kind of these larger yeah. gossip really like, issues that don't really you protect us in a day to day mm -hmm. like. You mentioned something yeah. that actually I've pox. been thinking about since you talked Chicken about it. How pox. like you know problems kind of versus problems where like we're seeing them in the White House and who's going to be vice president versus like people in the street marching for something that yeah. they actually stand right. for. It's like this is one yeah. sort of problem. Like this problem really shouldn't be that it's like kind of you weigh out like what right. is a problem for one community versus one is for who's supposed to be the most important person. Yeah. And well, well in the White House is to address those problems. Right. I mean, which, also, which also brings us back to the next thing I want to talk about, which is like that 
monologue that came from the cop in the precinct, which I loved as well because, you know what, you need to see the other side. And I, I give kudos yeah. to Shonda for showing that other side. And I know, um, Jillian, you had a reaction to that. Once that well, came well, up, you I, I know, I, I know we have to go to a, we have to go to commercial break real quick. Really quick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, we'll be back so in just a second and Jillian reaction. will tell you everything. Yeah, wait for my reaction. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Killing us. We're going to commercial break. We oh. are. Just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. Just in case you missed it live. Oh, just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live, I'm doing something right now. <laughs> so we're all super excited. Okay. 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 So this is dancing. So what too. would that be, like a seven? <laughs> I cannot. I literally cannot. You guys have got to get it together. <laughs> Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Hate the contract you didn't get. He's a coward. Mm -hmm. He's a giant chicken chip. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be like <laughs> Hurricane Whoa. Watch out for those girls. Um, they are gagging them. Hold the phone. Hold on. Bro. Ben, the more brutal you are, the more power you have. Right. That was sexy. It was hot. It was heated. I was into it. You are going to be the most high paid hooker in the world. <laughs> Go ahead and invite your friends and everybody. Tell your mama, tell them, don't turn the stove off and get up on the computer so we can get on the screen.tv. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us. And until next week, bye bye. to the stream scandal after show. We were just getting into what we thought about the reaction when the police officer kind of got to speak his mind. And um, for me, that was when it kind of all clicked. Yes. Yeah. Like, I kind of felt like we were kind of watching a movie or like a one-off special of something. And then when we kind of got his reaction, it, it made it more like a full balanced it episode. It was rounded Did out. Did you guys? Yeah, yeah, I have to say when we first met the cops and you sort of got this very innocent testimony it was like right. wait that's it okay all right well i guess he's a nice guy <laughs> right. <laughs> you're right right you're right, like right. Well, i don't know i don't know what we're arguing about you know um yeah. and that made it that did make where it was difficult. the scandal it was right. like, yes. yeah yes where the was the name scandal? of the show yeah. is scandal like right. where is so, it come on a lot of great twists in the end i mean i i felt it was very balanced well i love yeah. you know what yeah i love yeah. playing fair <laughs> and i love dough. hearing that because there are both sides there are people who let me just say are not racist that believe that there's some justifications within why shootings occur. There mm -hmm. are people, you know, on both sides of this fence. You know, whether you believe it or not, there are both people on both sides. And so I feel like the fact that Shonda put that in there and let the other voice be heard, okay, you know what I mean? Right. Because we do, both sides need to hear the other voice. That's yeah. the bottom yeah. line, or well, else this, we're not communicating. This so. episode spoke to a lot of people on a lot of different levels, and I'm sure if that part had not been in there, it would have been, oh, this is so biased, this is, right. you know, only one perspective of things. It was, yeah. it ha that part, to me, was key to this episode, because what he said, however controversial it might be, probably is what a lot of people were waiting to hear and rings true for right. a lot yeah. of people. So well, I feel like that, it was needed. Sorry, on that note, I mean, it did, he's obviously an extreme case where he's oh, taken it too far, yes. right? Yes. I mean, just yeah. to highlight, yes. like, 100%. He, it's, but, but sure, it's capturing that, that stress point, the tension, right? Because right? the, the fear, knife was then, planted. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you know. <laughs> yeah, mean, yeah. Well, and what I'm saying is so, yeah. so it doesn't happen every day. But, right. but Obviously, it's, hopefully. But it has happened as well, right? Yes. It, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm no, saying. No, I know I what you're saying. You're, I get you're, it. There has been, been. You know, it was an extreme example of like. No, it was an right. extreme yeah. example of where there has been police corruption and where there has been, you know, um, unfortunately, a death that has occurred and a parent that is just like just screaming and mourning the way that this that they were with this lawn chair. I thought it was a perfect title for it. But Thank I also you. want to um, just quickly get into the fact that Fitz had an interesting moment here. And I know Christina will be very happy because she loves Fitz. Oh, but he geez. had a he had a very real I moment with this father it. and because both of them had lost a son. So Yes, and but yeah. so humanizing, so relatable 
yeah, not, not about sides or teams, oh. just the neutral, real, you know, real right. moment yeah. of loss and children and everyone can relate. I mean, that was such a beautiful And it was so very unrepublican. I'm sorry. So beautiful. No, but very it was very unrepublican. Un no, but, mm. but that last but beautiful ending. Like that last segment of the episode I thought was amazing because yeah. Yeah. we were all sitting here watching together. We're watching this new senator totally stick her foot in her mouth. And yeah. I'm like, doesn't she know that they yep. lost a son? And then like just as that happens, it's like kind of wrapping up and you see these two men from totally different worlds just relate on an issue that no one ever wants to deal with. So yeah. I actually thought that was a nice ending of this kind of dramatic thing to set up for something totally different. Now, do you oh, guys wow, think that Olivia is actually learning? I mean, like, we know that we, she's come out of this whole thing. Do you think that she's learning something about herself? Is there something that she's discovering within herself? I hope this? so. Okay. Like, I, I really so. hope so. Like, I love Olivia. Like, I've... I'm any anybody who watches this like I love Olivia. I think that she is 90 90% in the right. Um but there's a lot of shit that's going down this season. Yeah, it is. Like a lot of, you know, the Ferguson thing and then, you know, her getting kidnapped and some people are are, you know, um, marrying I, into I, slavery, and it's just, I, I just, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. That there, there was an element of, I did agree that, like, the way that the show kind of departed, like, it did feel like right. a departure from the way that the mm -hmm. season had been going. Yeah. So you were like, oh, whoa, this, like, lumpy episode. But, <laughs> lumpy. But at the same time, <laughs> and it was Tony Goldwyn, this was his she director, he was directing. Yeah. But her speech, <laughs> but her speech about, being imprisoned for that that amount of time and thinking like she was gonna die for that that week yep. and how like yeah. this is the daily life of this child it was I thought it was such a beautiful way of weaving in she acknowledged, this journey you know last going back to the question like she acknowledged a couple weeks ago, she's like I'm alone right yeah. she knows that she's alone right. so yeah. I think she's definitely changing I mean even Shauna Rhimes said once Olivia goes through this she's never gonna she's be never the gonna same be, person right. and I think that's actually very needed for looking at the bigger picture of the show because we're also very tired of the love triangles and of you know who Olivia was before right. it's nice and to see someone different a man. who doesn't yeah who's yeah. independent who's not fighting between Vermont and Jake it's kind of a nice departure to it see her a grow nice a little bit. Well something is, more important and larger than herself. Right. Well let's go to some Twitter shout outs because we want to actually recognize you for uh, for following us and just yes, being please. absolutely amazing. At Chrissy underscore NC, at Spylight Scandal, at Claudia J number one fan, <laughs> at I am a gladiator, at Scandalous Yari, and at Scandal Red Hot. We want to thank you guys so much for supporting, retweeting, favoriting, and having a conversation with us throughout the week. That's just awesome. Yes. And we're going to get to some fan questions, and then we've got a surprise for you because Kat's got some information to give us on a couple of I stars do. of the show. But oh let's get God. to our <laughs> fan question. Our first one is from Vermont is Dead. Will Love the her. writers ever write a presidential divorce? I mean, the thing is, is that as of right now, Millie and Fitz are the healthiest they've ever been in like relationship terms because Fitz wants to be president for the next, you know, three years or whatever. And he wants to fuck Olivia in that whole thing. And then <laughs> Millie's like, I don't want to be president after you're done. So I feel like they're in a really, really healthy place. Well, I think they have a new goal. Which is, which is they why they have a new goal, for president. They you know, when you have new purpose, you're, you're exactly. refreshed. The bottom line new is they've, they've pretty much been divorced. They're okay. just married. They, okay. they really need each other. I was that, too. They need yep. each other, so they're not going to so get divorced. You, but but all separate. of you guys are thinking of, like, Public relationships. Purpose. Okay, so you're talking about what many people do in this world, which is like, we're not together, but legally we're still together. Exactly. I'm saying that no, there will never be a presidential divorce. Right. I think that no. goes against no. the fiber yeah. of this country. Yep. And I think that, no, it won't happen. Well, and I think when they got married, they knew what they were getting into. Right. In a way, it's like, we're making a contract because we both want to be president. Fair. Right. Like, I, you know, like you marry someone and they're like, I have these big grand dreams and I'm going to be president. Well, exactly. well, and you're frankly, either supporting them or you're not. Frankly, if he, if he wasn't going to do it when gonna he do. was like super into Olivia, like it's never going to happen. Right, right. Show, exactly. So. Right. Okay, our next fan question. I just lost it for a second. Bear with me. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so our next fan question is from Et. Faraja, Christina, Papa Pope in his monologue. So this is referring to last um, episode. Right. Also, Mama Pope would be great in B613 if she isn't already in it. Mm. 
Pop a Pope will never, never let Mama Pope be, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, be anywhere in his own thing. Speaking Mama of, Pope will always be behind glass doors. Speaking of marriages. We don't know marriages. that B613 still exists. I just have to preface no, this, right? No, it does. Oh, it's, it's there. It's, it's there. there. But where is it's it? It's there. It's never it's going fishing. away. It's fly fishing. <laughs> it's fly fishing. <laughs> it's fly fishing. <laughs> it's fly fishing. <laughs> Ever, I mean, talk about marriages. We were just talking about—is there going to be a divorce? Like, like that. Yeah. Wa what a combo. Yeah. I mean, just wild. I don't right. know. Like, who's right and wrong First in that of all, scenario? I don't know I mean, where we villainize the wife, from. but nobody I know, knows but where I want she's more coming. from her. Right? Uh -oh. I want to know where she's coming yeah, from. Yeah, she's devious. Yeah. We, need, sure. we need more. Like, it's not <laughs> enough for her to just no. be devious. Like, there's got to be some serious right. shit going on. Well, now like, she's right? get her to be that outside way. of herself. So maybe we'll see. They more took of her. her TV girl. She's gone. <laughs> okay. Um, our last, our our last fan question show. comes from at underscore music lover 101. Why do most Scandal fans have a problem with Lena? And I'm assuming they're talking about Lena Durnham. Lena Dunham. Yes, yeah. Lena Dunham. Dunham. Okay, yes, the Dunham. thing is, is that she's not even on the show yet. Why do you so, have a problem with a girl who's not even been on the show? She's so coming. Like, she's I get it. Be, she's actually going to be on the March 19th episode. Okay. I'm about that today. I understand that. She tweeted a picture with what? Carrie Washington today. But Here's why what do I will you have say. A with her? You People haven't... have a problem with her because of the characters that she's portrayed. Okay. Her, her, <sighs> her real life persona, who she is on Girls, that doesn't fit with what Scandal is. I will say but that's that she's fine. wearing a wig. She's an actress. Actually, actually, yes. I and she thought, will play. She's actually I playing hate someone girls. who's gonna sell her like secrets I'm sorry. to like, yeah. like, I'm sorry. like her of sleeping with like Washington's elite. Uh -huh. Actually, so the minute I well heard done for her, the minute I, mean, I mean, first no, no, of all, no, no, I want to say that Christina was on actually, the girls uh, after. Yeah, show. she was on the girls yeah, after she show. She and I went to Sundance. I met Lena, and I have to say, I was amazed at how eloquent she was. I don't hate her at all. I think she's incredibly sharp. She's very smart. But listen, let me say this: neuroses, all that. But immediately, I saw the genius in putting her on the show scandal because <laughs> Because she is ripe for one of the scandals that Olivia has to fix, right. yeah. which, which is, is what she's going to get. Which fair, is fair. like the fact that she kind of talks about everything and she's like this in this little gossip world, right? So she immediately is going to have some scandal that Olivia needs to solve. And I, kind I thought of it was like kind of genius that Shonda Rhimes puts like celebrities that are like, huge fans of the show on because you know it gives us like oh, a hope cool. and a prayer. I'm right? gonna, I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> I have no idea who she is, and so when I was, I'll wow. tell you. Okay, we'll no, that's fine. I don't know who she is. Like, so I, I'm excited to see her. So okay. I, you know, for me, that's a great question. But yeah. Okay, so first That's of all, a do great we have, moment for this episode. Well, let's go to fan questions. Do okay. we have any from yes. YouTube? Yes. Okay, so someone named Hannah Wolken, who I think this is a very smart idea, but completely okay. departs from this, did say that she would love to see a crossover episode of all Shonda Rhyme shows, and Derek from Grey's Anatomy is currently in D.C., so oh, she would love yes, to see is. him come on. Cool. Patrick um, Dempsey. A lot of people are talking about how this was a difficult episode for yeah. our Johnny Boy rough episode. Um, people think that it's at the end when they saw Olivia lying in bed, that that ties it into the bigger picture because it's getting her thinking about mm. a lot of different things. And um, and yeah, Chris Hawkins said this episode was one of his favorites, so. Perfect. Good to know. Um, okay, well cool. I just want to say really quickly that um, our Kat Inslee here was um, at the, what was it? <laughs> the Go ahead, Spirit I'm gonna Awards. Say the Spirit Awards. Okay, this is, this is a very random, like, I, I feel like, I feel very strange saying like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about all this. But I was, I catered the Spirit Awards, so it was the award show on Saturday before the Oscars, and I got to talk to Kerry Washington. Whoa. And the gloriousness that is um, Abby Darby. Abby Darby. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, Abby had the best dress of everybody at the Spirit Awards. It was like knee length, it was gorgeous. But I got to give, you know, <laughs> I got to give Olivia Pope champagne. It was incredible. But she was so kind, um, Carrie Washington. She yeah. was so incredible. And I, I, was, I literally walked up and was like, here's some champagne. She's like, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And I went, um, <laughs> I know this is really random, and I shouldn't be saying this to you, but I host the Scandal After Show like with, with three other girls, and we love you. And she was like, oh, my God. Really? People like my show? Like, really? really? Wow, like, okay. she is so incredible and so down to earth and so sweet. And, you know, we, we hugged a couple times. Wow. And she asked me to take a shot with her, which was awesome. And so we took a shot of, like, Jaeger together. And she's just, she's incredible. And it Jaeger, was, very it was such a, you. exactly, right? It was such a good night. And thank you, Carrie, for being incredible <laughs> and... Thank you, Abby, for also being gorgeous with your 
you know, gorgeous dress. champagne dress that was like mid thigh. And also, everybody <laughs> else who works in Scandal, please come and please be our guest star. You're cute. Okay, so, <laughs> so anyway, um, there was a lot to talk about tonight, and we're going to talk to you all throughout the week uh, about this episode. I think there is a lot to talk about. This lawn chair episode was serious, wow. and, it was, and it opened a conversation that I think is going to be great, great, and it's also going to cross all kind of culture and, and, and racial barriers. So I just feel like let's open the conversation up. Let's talk on Twitter. Thank you for joining us here at thestream.tv and for making us your after show for Scandal. We will see you next week. And good night, gladiators. Good night, gladiators. Good night. For more Scandal After Show, hit that button and subscribe to the stream.tv.